Hey my beautiful Geminis, welcome to my channel. My name is Kim Enchantress. I'm here to do your relationship reading for the 15th of May 2019. And we just had the uh, new moon in Taurus on the 4th of May. On the 15th we've got Venus, the planet of love, which gets in on the action with Taurus. So I just wanted to see how your relationship would turn out around this time. Now I have picked some cards from the Enchanted Lenormand deck. I have the fish here which represents you Gemini and uh, I also have picked the partner's card or your future partner and this is a Libra card. So definitely with a Libra for some of you it's not going to be a reading for everybody but um, if you're single you may meet with a Libra. Now what I was feeling when I was shuffling for you Gemini is there's some good fortune coming around the 15th and um, this is going to be a, some sort of unexpected news or luck. There's definitely some opportunities um, for the singles. You may meet someone new or if you're in a coupled relationship already, uh, maybe you've been together for some time and there's going to be some opportunities or some luck around the relationship. Now, maybe if some of you have had a bit of a falling out in the current relationship, you've got a fresh new start coming. And maybe you're expecting your first child uh, together. For those who aren't pregnant already, you are about to conceive around the 15th. And this is possibly with a person who is a bit of a, a business entrepreneur. So it is a general reading. Take it in your situation, male or female. Now, with a clover... This is about, are you ready, Gemini? So I do feel like you're definitely going to take a chance on someone new around the 15th. And some of you uh, who are single may have a one-night stand. You could be in a relationship also, but I'm feeling for singles, there's definitely a one-night stand that's on the cards. And you may be feeling um, a little bit like the... Um, this person is a bit steadfast in love and you want to feel more safe. Um, maybe this is a diligent lover. Now, if you're in a coupled relationship with the anchor, this is about death to us part. You've been together for some time and you want to achieve all your goals together. You want someone that's reliable. You want someone that's consistent in the relationship. So if you're looking at one night stands, you're not going to find this. Now we have the child. And maybe um, this card is uh, how will you how you will meet or maybe how you met. So I feel like some are going to have a bit of a reunion with a childhood sweetheart. This is definitely uh, someone that you know from a childhood. And maybe you've got that feeling of puppy love and innocence again in this romance. Now we also have the man here. And the potential of this relationship, I definitely feel like it is your soulmate. This is Mr. or Mrs. Wright, who is pursuing love with you. So it is a general reading. It doesn't always have to be a male. Um, it could be a female in this reading. So just take it on board how you see it. Now, we have, from the Romance Angel cards, we have pay attention to red flags. So if some of you... Um, having a one night stand is definitely cautioning you not to pursue this relationship now this is you taking the risk here um, if you are meeting um, someone from your childhood maybe you know you you've got that innocence and that puppy love that you had back then but there's been a long time between seeing this person and people grow and they change so maybe it's just cautioning you here that you're not seeing everything about this person you know that may they've changed they've been through relationships they've, uh, they've been through work and general life situations and maybe they're not the same person that you knew back then now for some of you we have the the outcome card here from the animal tarot deck is the release card i'm not sure if you can see that because of the lighting i'll just pop it here and this is the peacock, this is the release card. Now this is very important around the 15th for you, Gemini. And with the um, peacock, it's time to release the past and move on to something new. So for some of you who've been in relationships that didn't work out, you need to let go of that energy and pursue a new partner. 
uh, maybe if it's a one night stand or you're going back to that childhood sweetheart maybe this isn't for you so you need to release those energies if you've been holding on to them all these years now we do have um, some un unexpected opportunities for some Gemini's and you will be meeting a Libra here with the um, the path it represents Libra in the Enchanted Lenorma deck and definitely have choices and decisions to make here Lib uh, regarding a Libran. Now we have the garden here and the garden is uh, representing um, how you met. You possibly met someone through uh, new friends or maybe you were out clubbing at the time, Gemini, and or speed dating at an event, but it was definitely in a public situation where you met. Now we also have the lily here and the lily is um, representing an older couple. So maybe you met through an older couple that you know, or for some Geminis, this could be an older lover uh, for some of you. So this is a Libran, but they're an older lover who are mature. Uh, maybe there's a lot of sensuality about this relationship. And this person may be into Tantra sex, so but just be mindful of that. Or this is the one night stand that you've met up here with Gemini. Now, with a mountain, uh, this has been a delayed reunion for some Geminis who were uh, having a reunion with your childhood sweetheart. And if you're in a couple situation, maybe this has been a test of um, your love for one another. You've had some issues in the relationship, but, you're, but it's strong. It's um, <coughs> probably steadfast and very consistent and reliable with this person. So definitely for the couples. Now, we have the coffin in the picture and definitely this could be an old relationship that becomes very stagnant or became stagnant or this was a death of a partner. So now you've got new opportunities and you've got um, the child here in a relationship to start a fresh new relationship. Now we have also um, from the Romance Angel cards here for you is let your friends help you um, you need to ask and accept support from others. So definitely I'm feeling that you will meet through an elderly couple and um, I feel like you're guided by the angels for some of you here. Now we have the outcome card from the Animal Tarot and this person that you're meeting, this Libran person, has a lot of uh, en energy and they're very outgoing, they're very optimistic and creative. So definitely they tie in with the clover here. And this is a monarch butterfly. I'm feeling it's a very grounding energy here. So definitely you've been given some opportunities and you feel passionate about um, something that you're passionate about and it's fluttering on, on their way to you. But personal growth... Um, and broaden horizons will mark fresh and original ideas so definitely you've got a fresh new start coming for some of you and it's about taking those small steps as well here Gemini but I do definitely feel it's with the Libra so that's your love reading for the 15th of May 2019 I will be back to do your Lenormand scope for June so love and blessings to you all bye for now